Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Because right now on this four hour time frame, Bitcoin is trading below this parallel channel that I was talking about in my recent videos, indicating that potentially we could see another move to the downside, which is also in line with this broader downtrend that I have been talking about for the last three weeks or so. Because if you have been watching my videos over the last couple of weeks or so, you know that on this daily time frame, I flipped much more bearish as soon as Bitcoin broke broke back inside this one day descending channel. And of course, after that, we have seen nothing but momentum to the downside. So getting back to this four hour time frame for Bitcoin, the momentum currently is still downwards. However, at some point, I do think we are going to break this downtrend right here. So taking a look at these support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, right now you can see that Bitcoin is actually holding this big level of support sitting from 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. Although if you do start seeing Bitcoin breaking down below 60K here with confirmed candle closes, of course, then likely we are heading down lower to this next big level of support sitting from 58K all the way down to 56,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. Although of course it is completely possible that we are actually holding this as a level of support and in which case, if you see Bitcoin trading above that 62.4K level, likely we will be heading up to this next short term level of resistance, sitting at about 63.6K. Although we should also be taking a look at the Fibonacci levels for Bitcoin, because right now Bitcoin is trading below the 0.236 Fibonacci level, sitting at 60.6K. And this is a crucial level to watch, because if you see Bitcoin now trading up to this level once again, and then getting a rejection from there, it will likely be an indication that we are going much lower for the Bitcoin price. For example, you can see it right here on the left where we traded below this Fibonacci level and then got a rejection from it once again, sending us straight down to the next Fibonacci level below that. So just to be clear, 60.6K is an important level to watch. And if you see Bitcoin breaking through that level, then the next Fibonacci level above it, which is also acting as a level of resistance, is the 0.382 Fibonacci level sitting at 63.2K, roughly speaking. So if you just subscribed to my channel recently, or this is your first time watching my videos, you might be wondering what I think will happen next in the market here. Like, do I think we're going to 50K or something like that? Do I, do I think we're going to 80K? Well, my thoughts on the market right now is that basically Bitcoin is just consolidating in this one day descending channel. And Bitcoin has been in this descending channel ever since about March 13th, where we have just been ranging sideways pretty much. And in my opinion, so long as we hold this level of support setting at about 56,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price, I think it is completely possible that we eventually break out of the top side of this range and see much higher price action for Bitcoin. And right now, the top of this range is sitting at about 69.3K. Now, before I move on with the Bitcoin analysis here, I want to show you guys this insane 15% deposit bonus that Blowfin is offering right now. And in the case that you don't know, Blowfin and MEXC are two exchanges that I recommend and that I use personally to leverage trade on. And right now, Blowfin is offering the Road to 1 million community a 15% cashback on every deposit, literally only for depositing. So there's no like volume requirement or something like that. You can just deposit and get 15% of futures bonuses right away that you can trade with. Now do keep in mind that this only works if you use the referral link in the video description. So if you are interested, then do go check that out. And in the case that you already registered, because a lot of you guys already have using my referral link in the past, don't worry, you can still benefit from this deposit bonus. And this is only for the first 200 users who actually deposit on Blowfin after I post this video. So continuing with this Bitcoin analysis here, let's take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. First of all, in this three day time frame, and right here, you can see that we swept this big level of liquidity that I mentioned in yesterday's video. And this was sitting at about 60.3K. So now all of that liquidity has been swept. And now most of the liquidity is actually to the upside. And in fact, the same can be said for the one month time frame, because also here you can see that most of the liquidity is to the upside. So typically, in the case that you don't know, the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is the most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas. And right now, the highest level of liquidity is actually at 72.3K. 
So I do think that at some point, considering we are still in a bull run, that we are going to take out that level of liquidity at some point, but we might just have to be a little bit patient here until we actually get that clear reversal signal in the market. Because to be clear, as I said earlier in the video as well, the momentum is still clearly bearish and we are still clearly in a downtrend. So yes, we can go lower here. Although this is just an indication for us, in my opinion at least, that once we get that reversal signal and we start trading to the upside, I think it is going to be a pretty violent move to the upside where anyone who's shorting the Bitcoin price is going to get, yeah, it's just going to have a bad time. But I guess we will see how it plays out. Now, moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, because again, we had a net inflow, although to be clear, this is a very small inflow of about $11 million. And I say small here because typically the Bitcoin ETFs are net buyers for about $124 million every single weekday. So considering that these are small inflows and we had nothing but huge net outflows in recent days, this basically shows that the Bitcoin ETF investors were very bearish and are now flipping a bit more neutral in the market because there aren't huge outflows and there aren't huge inflows. So I will just continue to keep tracking this. Now taking a look at Ethereum on this four hour time frame. So first of all, taking a look at the support and resistance levels here. Right here, you can see that Ethereum got rejected from this big level of resistance sitting from 3430 all the way up to 3530. And after getting that rejection, we basically traded to the 0.618 Fibonacci level sitting at about 3330. So these are some important price levels to pay attention to. Although if you do see Ethereum now trading below this 0.618 Fibonacci level, then likely we are heading to this next big level of support sitting from 3250 all the way down to 3150. So these are some important levels to pay attention to for ETH. And just to be clear here, on the four hour RSI for Ethereum, we have still not broken this downtrend, indicating that potentially some more bearish momentum could be coming soon until we actually break this downtrend on the RSI. Because whenever you see that happen, that will be a bullish indicator for Ethereum for sure at least in the short term here. But one last thing I would add to that for Ethereum is that ETH is basically following whatever Bitcoin is doing. So that is why it's important to pay attention to the Bitcoin technical analysis as well, even if you don't trade or hold Bitcoin, because yeah, Bitcoin basically leads the market. Now moving on to Solana on this four hour time frame, because exactly like I warned about in yesterday's video, we got a rejection from this point 3A2 Fibonacci level setting at about $152. And the reason I warned about this was because Solana was in overbought territory at the time. And like I said in yesterday's video, typically when Solana, Bitcoin or Ethereum is in overbought territory is that the RSI needs to reset down a little bit back to around this 50 level. And of course, now today we can see that we perfectly reset actually perfectly to the 50 level here. So yeah, I'm happy to have warned you guys about that. Now, in terms of the Fibonacci support below the current Solana price is actually the 0.236 Fibonacci level sitting at about $138. But I would add to that to just pay attention to what Bitcoin is doing, because again, if Bitcoin is extremely bearish today or tomorrow or whatever, then likely Solana is just going to go to the downside as well. And these Fibonacci levels will matter a lot less. Right. So that's just something that I wanted to add to that. Now, in terms of support and resistance here, Solana is still in this big level of resistance, sitting from 150 all the way down to $140 and is right now obviously getting that rejection from the top of that resistance. So potentially we could be heading into this next big level of support sitting from 134 all the way down to $125 for the price of Solana. This has been today's market update. Do make sure to go check out that 15% cashback that Blowfin is offering. You can find the link to Blowfin in the video description. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you again tomorrow in the next one.